Triple H. I think about his rivalry with Lesnar. Breaking Triple H's arm twice, putting Mr. McMahon, his father-in-law, in the hospital. Nothing but bad blood in that rivalry. Forget the broken bones and injured father-in-law. At WrestleMania 29, Triple H risked his entire career as a competitor in a no holds barred match. One of the best rivalries in our sport. What kind of savage are you? Forget your injured father-in-law? Well... Oh, if this six-man match isn't trending at some point over the next few minutes, there must be something wrong with the internet. Byron, I have to close the loop between Lesnar and Triple H because at WrestleMania 29, Triple H had the last laugh winning for the pedigree on the steel steps. I don't know about the last laugh part, Cole. Lesnar got a rematch at Extreme Rules, beating Triple H and getting his revenge in a steel cage match. There is a deep and abiding dislike between Lesnar and Triple H. How could they get away with that? That's not legal. Definitely not where you want to be right now. You gotta find a way to get out of this, Michael. Harsh impact. Oh, what impact. Thunderous slam. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. So just barely got out of the way there. It's quite the accomplishment to win a championship at WrestleMania and carry it all the way to next year's WrestleMania. But Brock Lesnar did that by winning the Universal Championship from Goldberg in 2017 and retaining it against Roman Reigns in 2018. Very difficult position to be in right now. Yeah, situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. Right, that was a long way down. Byron brought up Brock Lesnar's Universal Championship dominance at back-to-back -back WrestleManias. You have to go back 30 years for similar circumstances at the showcase of the Immortals. Yeah, but even though both Randy Savage and Hulk Hogan won WWE Championships at WrestleMania and held the title until next year's show, both what's wrong? Superman punch! What's he gonna do now? I don't know. And Roman Reigns makes the cover! Hooked up. The slam! There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up. Spear! Spear! Looks like this show's over, guys. This is exactly what Roman Reigns needed. All the momentum on the side of Reigns. And into a quick cover is Roman Reigns. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring, and he got a near fall out of it. How in the world? Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. And that's easier said than done. Just because superstars might be favorites of the WWE Universe or have a common enemy, that doesn't mean they'll get along. It also doesn't mean that any past issues will magically go away. In this business... Thunderous. Buster! I'm not sure how much he has left. That is a huge opportunity for Triple H. Strategy against Kane. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He is rolling. German after German by Brock. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. This is Brock Lesnar's chance. When it comes to Kane, the physical and demonic powers of this monster are one and the same. A superstar cannot afford to have the demon pulverize them with move after move. It won't last very long. It seems impossible to be able to stay away from Kane's crushing power, but if a superstar has the un- Uh-oh! Oh, this is gonna be nasty! This is gonna be bad! Watch the impact! Claymore! It's gonna be over. It, is that it? Is it over? This might be it! Oh my! And there's his speed paying off. He's a spinning ball of energy. Big punch finds its mark. 
What should Roman Reigns try to do differently at this stage to stay in this thing? He's got to remember he has two partners ready to enter the fray here. I'm not at all surprised to see him struggling a bit here. After all, the other team does feature arguably three of WWE's most imposing figures. Well, it'd be unrealistic to expect him to not at least take some offense here. The good news for him is that he still appears to be in a better place than his opponent. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. McIntyre able to avoid damage there. Corey, tell me, just how much strength is carrying your Superman punch? Good night! This one is over. Ooh, what impact. Uh-oh. Back now inside the ring. Lariat! Down he goes. That'll do it every time. He's making a statement here with this attack. Goes down hard. He wants no part of the outside. He's got a head of steam. See how long he can sustain it. The great ones always explode when they have the chance. Whoa, Triple H dodged that one. Beautiful technique. High risk. Brock Lesnar is going high risk. When this guy's on, look at him. Look at this. He's a spinning ball of energy. What an aggressive side slam. Here is Roman Reigns in position now. Spear! That was vicious. That should do it. Roman Reigns seems helpless. We got a cover! Oh, and he breaks up the pin. This could be huge. Ooh! He's in control. Kane with a vice-like grip on his opponent's skull. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. Devastating elbow. Oh, you're just asking to get disqualified. Oh, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Would you look at this? Sip. Ooh, what a headbutt. That has got to be it. Triple H doing a great job of turning that around. Oh, the referee better get a hold of things. And there's the reversal from Big Show. Oh, nasty impact. One. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. The arm, bringing it back into the ring. He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. There's the setup. Here we go, Byron. Pedigree. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Now Triple H needs to capitalize on this opportunity. Boom! Boom! <laughs> it's Drew McIntyre with the opening. Oh my god, the world's largest athlete with the world's largest spear. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Nailed it. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. Nobody can sustain a drop like that, Michael. Oh my goodness, crushing it. He's a spinning ball of energy. Brock Lesnar just too fast for him. Lightning speed from the beast. Oh, 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 oh. Legend Kane with a vice-like grip on his opponent's skull. A crushing blow by Kane. In case you're keeping score, that's twice, Byron. Momentum clearly in his corner. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. I almost wrote him off earlier. Oh boy, he is rolling. 
Brock Lesnar just too fast for him. A weapon of mass destruction. But can he follow up here? That might be the end of Kane tonight. He's going for the pin. Back between the ropes. Yeah, but it's all about sustaining that effort. Let's. What an amazing six-man tag match. Here are your winners. The Big Show in the game. Triple H. Big pinfall victory here tonight. This was all about one competitor's refusal to lose. When you see that, you have no choice but to respect it. We may be in New Orleans tonight, but I assure you there was nothing easy about that win right there.